Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to the Esther Song of Praise channel. I hope that all of you are having an amazing day. It's beautiful weather outside. It's gorgeous and sunny where I am. You know, sometimes life takes us places where we don't necessarily plan to go. But in those times, it's so important to remember the character of God. You know, Romans 8.28 reminds us that all things work together for good, for them that love God and are called according to his purpose. And so even if we feel like we're being derailed or we are going through trials and tribulations, just trusting that the Lord loves us, that he will never leave or abandon us, and that he will help us through it, gives us the courage and the confidence to go forward. So that, that's what's on my heart today. And I wanna welcome all of you. Welcome to all the new people here, the new subscribers, thank you so much. And I'd like to open in prayer as we continue on the Proverbs series of wisdom. And after we go through the chapter, I'll share away a, a few of my takeaways uh, from the chapter and then we'll close. Let's go ahead and get started. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for this beautiful day. We thank you, Lord, that we can come to you in prayer and share our hearts, the good, the bad, the ugly, Lord, we ask for healing. We ask for encouragement, Lord God. We ask that you would just give us strength and give us your wisdom, Lord, to make it through each day. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. And we thank you so much, Lord, for just creating a reflection of you within each of us, Father. We ask that you would open our hearts and our minds and give us ears to hear your word, Lord God. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Let's begin the book of Proverbs chapter 15. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise adorns knowledge, but the mouth of fools gushes folly. The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good. The soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. A fool spurns a parent's discipline, but whoever heeds correction shows prudence. The house of the righteous contains great treasure, but the income of the wicked brings ruin. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, but the hearts of the fools are not upright. The Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but the prayer of the upright pleases him. The Lord detests the way of the wicked, but he loves those who pursue righteousness. Stern discipline awaits anyone who leaves the path. The one who hates correction will die. Death and destruction lie open before the Lord. How much more do human hearts? Mockers resent correction, so they avoid the wise. A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of the fool feeds on folly. All the days of the oppressed are wretched, but the cheerful heart has a continual feast. Better a little with the fear of the Lord than great wealth with turmoil. Better a small serving of vegetables with love than a fattened calf with hatred. A hot-tempered person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. The way of the sluggard is blocked with thorns, but the path of the upright is a highway. A wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly brings joy to one who has no sense, but whoever has understanding keeps a straight course. 
Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. A person finds joy in giving an after reply and how good is a timely word. The path of life leads upward for the prudent to keep them from going down to the realm of the dead. The Lord tears down the house of the proud, but he sets the widow's boundary stones in place. The Lord detests the thoughts of the wicked, but gracious words are pure in his sight. The greedy bring ruin to their households, but the one who hates bribes will live. The heart of the righteous weighs its answers, but the mouth of the wicked gushes evil. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Light in a messenger's eyes brings joy to the heart, and good news gives health to the bones. Whoever heeds life-giving correction will be at home among the wise. Those who disregard discipline despise themselves, but the one who heeds correction gains understanding. Wisdom's instruction is to fear the Lord, and humility comes before honor. May the Lord bless the reading of his word today. So my few of my favorite takeaways, I really enjoyed this chapter because I feel like there's so much to gain and glean from it. But these last three verses, I feel are jam-packed with so many goodies, <laughs> right? So verse 31 here where it says, whoever heeds life-giving correction will be at home among the wise. I think that that just encapsulates so much of not only this chapter, but of Proverbs as a whole, right? Or even the, the whole Bible, because, you know, as, as human beings, we're all imperfect and we all make mistakes and that's okay. You know, the Lord knows that, but it's the correction. It's the, it's the ability to adapt and course correct and learn from those mistakes is what makes us wise. And the fact that that makes us home among the wise is such an honored position. So I love this verse. Then we have verse 32, where it says, those who disregard discipline despise themselves, but the one who heeds correction gains understanding. And this verse, the first time I read it, it just blew me away because I'm like, wow, you know, like that's the epitome of honoring yourself, honoring, you know, your body, that it's the temple of the Lord. And so if we can master self-discipline, then that really shows that we love, truly love and appreciate ourselves. And we gain understanding once we, again, we learn from our mistakes and we gain that correction, that spirit of being moldable and able to be corrected. And last but not least, wisdom's instruction is to fear the Lord and humility comes before honor. This is so true. <laughs> um, you know, in the beginning, the first proverb, it says, you know, that's what wisdom is, right? Fearing the Lord and meaning we have reverence for him and we want to please him in our actions and in our ways. And then humility comes before honor, which is so true because as we know, pride comes before the fall and then humility usually comes after that. <laughs> But once we're humbled, then the Lord can, you know, honor us without us being, you know, filled with pride, thinking that we did it ourselves when the truth is it's the Lord who blesses us. So those are a few of my takeaways. I would love to hear uh, your favorite verses from this chapter. Please be sure to let me know in the comments if you guys have any prayer requests. I would love those as well. Also, please remember to like the the chat the channel um this video it helps the algorithm a lot be sure to share and subscribe as well and i hope that you all are having a wonderful day and i will talk with you later take care bye